just really love it. It's like super, super soft. <laughs> This is how the closure part looks. Um, it's not green or red, it's just reflecting off of the light. It's black, but it does have a little bit of brown undertone in it, but I like it because it looks more like a natural black rather than like a jet witchy black, if you know what I mean. But So I didn't cut the lace part off yet because I want to show you how I do that while it's on my head. It's a nude color, so it's going to be really easy to blend in. It's not going to be noticeable at all. So I did already wash the hair and I shampooed and conditioned it and everything like that. But it did keep the wave, definitely. I like this style better just because I don't like my hair to be like so in place. I don't know why this is looking brown. It's not brown at all. It's actually black, but it'll, I'll show you more of how it looks when it's on. But um, yeah, I like the messy style a little bit better. Of course, I am going to put some gel, I mean some... I'm gonna put some like oil in it to kind of calm the frizz down a little bit but I don't really mind it because I want it to look as natural as possible there are some lighter brown um, hair there is some lighter brown hair in here it's not a lot but it's just enough to give the black hair dimension so I think it looks really pretty it makes it look like I said a lot more natural it's not like your hair is just gonna be one color oh I know mine isn't so I like the way that that looks I'm just going to cut off the lace right there in the front before I put it on just so it's easier for me. And you can see that the hair is already pre-cut in the front so it's really easy to just work with. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you how it looks while it's on my head. So I just like roughly braided my hair. I didn't like braid it small or anything. I just braided it roughly but um, I'm going to take these two and just bobby pin them up. I always say bobby pin but it's bobby pin. I'm going to bobby pin them up just so that the hair gets out of the way. So it's going to look just like this. So as you can see this hairline is way too obvious but that's because my baby hairs are going crazy. So what I'm going to do is style them differently. You can see if I lift it up you can so you can see where the um you can see where the lace is. So what I'm going to do is brush my baby hairs over the lace so that the lace is not visible anymore. I don't normally um, part my hair on this side so it is a little bit awkward for me but I think I'm going to cut bangs anyways. So I'm just going to show you how to fix this first. But I am going to cut bangs on this one right now. I just kind of want to show you guys how it would look if you didn't cut bangs and if you just kind of styled it just right out the box. It's going to get up close so you can see how the hair looks. Like you literally can't even tell that I'm wearing a wig at all. So this is how the hair looks once I've customized it. I just added some bangs to the front of it because I wanted that 90s Selena Mariah Carey type of feel. So I cut bangs and it was pretty easy. I wish I could have recorded it but my camera died. Like it's about to die right now so I'm trying to hurry. The front of the wig already comes customized with the customized hairline so it was pretty easy. All I did was take the hair that they already cut for me and I brushed it to the front and then just cut like a fringe. But you don't have to wear it that way. I have some footage of how it looks before I cut the bangs. I just really wanted a wig that was like 90s and yeah. Be sure to check them out on Facebook and give them a like. I'm going to link their website and this exact wig so you can get you one. This is called the Brazilian Body Wave Wig. And this is obviously Brazilian hair. So freaking soft. I love it so much. Um, it really does hold the curls when I first got it, I did wash it and shampoo it and all of that. Then I brushed it out and it was pretty frizzy, but I mean, that's to be expected. It's curly hair, right? So um, I just put a little bit of oil in it and then I straightened it. It does straighten really good, but I just don't like the way it looks on me straightened. So I decided to curl it and that's what I did here. I just added some loose curls, kind of like fairy curls. That's what I call them. I don't know that makes sense but yeah they're kind of like fairy curls and i just really 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 love them the hair is so soft it did not shed at all not when i was washing it not when i was blow drying it not when i was straightening it or curling it like so 
that just goes to show you that it's such good quality another thing is is this does not give me a headache at all i've gotten synthetic wigs that are so heavy because it's so thick which is a good thing but it's just so heavy that it gives you a migraine like literally like after wearing it an hour i'm just like no i'd rather have a bad hair day than to be wearing this heavy wig but this one is not heavy at all it's pretty thick but it's not heavy at all like it's uh it's really wearable like I didn't wear this I've already been wearing it for like three or four hours and I'm good also the cap is really tight not too tight like uncomfortable but it's a good fit that it's not gonna like move this is your first time looking into buying a wig I definitely recommend this one like I said the knots are pre-bleached so, so you see how it looks a lot more natural that's just because the knots came pre-bleached if you don't get the knots bleached it's gonna look really obvious and it's just not gonna look right that will save you so much time from going around and looking for someone to help you pre-bleach the knots on the wig and also save you a lot of money because you're not gonna go buy bleach and developer and all of that and you can ruin the whole wig if you don't know how to do it right like me I really wouldn't know how to do it so I would be the one to ruin it